After the launch of Windows 11, Internet Explorer was retired and Microsoft Edge took over the role of main browser from it. Built on the Chromium project, Edge has plenty of features for a modern browser and does provide more advanced features than Google Chrome. Whether you're new or have been using it for some time, here are the top 10 Microsoft Edge tips and tricks that will amaze you. Let's start. Most people don't know about this feature but it's something that can be very useful. If you're watching a video on one tab and listening to music on another tab, it's gonna mix up the sounds and won't be a pleasant experience. In this type of situation, many people will close either of the tabs. Fortunately, Edge has a solution to this and you're gonna like it. Just to the left of the tab, you'll find a speaker icon. Clicking on it will mute the tab. That's it. The rest of the tabs will work fine and you can continue listening from the other tabs. Alternatively, you can mute a tab by right clicking on it and selecting the mute option. It's one of the best features that I very often use when viewing multiple YouTube videos or listening to online radio. Here's a little trick I use multiple times throughout the day. If you have accidentally closed a tab, press CTRL, SHIFT and T on your keyboard to reopen the last page. This also works when you've accidentally closed the entire browser. Only condition is your browser history should be saved. It's an absolute lifesaver. When you have many tabs opened on your browser, they tend to consume more system resources which impacts the overall performance of your device. To solve this, the company has added a feature called Sleeping Tab, with which you can put inactive tabs to sleep. To use this feature, in Settings, select System and Performance from the left side, scroll down, and under Optimize Performance, Enable the third option. After this, you can customize the time to put inactive tabs to sleep. Microsoft says that this feature helps to increase battery life as it uses 26% less CPU on average compared to a non-sleeping tab and reduces memory usage by 16% on average. Today's address bar is capable of performing a variety of tasks and are not just a place to type in your website URL. Many people don't seem to know this that the address bar can give answers to many questions and by many I mean the general ones like who is the president of USA or you can perform some basic calculations like this without proceeding to another web page. All you have to do is remove the whole URL and you can get going. Can't remember your username or password for a website? Don't worry. Microsoft offers a convenient password management feature that stores your login details, provided you have authorized it to do so. It also tells you if your password has been used on multiple sites and the health as in the strength. Open Settings, under Profiles, select Passwords. Here, you can choose to have this feature turn on or off. Additionally, you can view the password by clicking on it. Before that, you'll need to either enter the password, pin, or unlock using fingerprint if you have one, as this will protect it from being accessed by unwanted people. When you visit a website that requires you to log in, for the first time, Edge will ask if you want to save your username and password with it. If you allow it, next time onwards, the browser will fill the details automatically without having to type it in. If you don't trust this password manager, I recommend you to watch my recent video on open source software where I have shown a brilliant offline password manager that has military-grade encryption, ability to set expiry date, and many other features. Click in the top right corner to watch that video. Here's a trick to open websites quickly. For example, I want to open Amazon. So, in the address box, I'll only type in Amazon and won't add www.and.com. Then press CTRL plus enter on your keyboard. You'll notice the web address has been filled with both www and .com. Do note, this trick only works for websites that end with .com domain only. Watching an important match and want to browse side by side? Then start using picture in picture control. This helps you watch video without any interference with your work. First, you'll have to enable this feature. In settings, select cookies and site permissions. Scroll down and under All Permissions, select Picture in Picture Control. Next time, when you're watching a video, click on this icon here or right-click on the video and select Picture in Picture. 
You can move this anywhere on the screen and resize it as per your preference, making it easy to stay in touch with both things. Edge has a built-in screenshot tool called Web Capture, which is another perk of using this browser. With it, you can either capture a particular area of a website or the full page. To capture a web page, select the three dots and down in the list, select Web Capture. Now select the type of screenshot you want to take. Capture Area will help to take a screenshot of a particular area and Capture Full Page will do the whole web page in one go. Once taken, you can then annotate, save it and share it with others. Tired of reading long blogs and articles? Then start using Read Aloud feature where the AI or natural language reads the content on a website, document or anything else to you. To use this, open a document or a web page. In address box, Logic. click on this icon Logitech which will start reading out. You can change the para using its controls or click at the word from where it should start reading. Earlier this month, then you can change the speed of reading and choose a different narration voice to match your dialect. You can even add more voices to it. When this feature is enabled, it will narrate the passage while also highlight the specific words that are being read. This will help to keep the reader focused while they read. Gaming Hansel as Logitech has listed that name on a recently published landing page. People have started to shop a lot online and when we check out, we manually try different types of coupons from some website or the other to get some discount. This is where Ed's shopping tool can come in handy. This will show you a list of all the discount coupons available for the online store you're shopping at. To use this, first enable this by going in settings, then privacy tab, scroll down to the bottom and under services, enable the third option. The next time when you're on a product page, you'll come across a notification from it showing a price drop or the best price available if there are multiple sellers. Also, during the checkout process, it'll give you the option to test coupons that can be applicable or in the coupon code box, you'll be presented with the list of coupons which you can try applying. That's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you might want to check out my other videos as well. Thank you for watching and please share this video with others to make them aware about the cool features about Microsoft Edge. Alright then, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.